Texas Street Cars in the shop today. We have a 1990 Chevrolet S10. Um, if you follow us for any amount of time, you know we like uh, S10s, but I say it's dime time, right, Jason? Yes, sir, dime time. Dime time again. The square body S10 is hard to beat the look of them. I think it looks kind of like a square body uh, full size truck, a C10 mixed with OBS a little bit. So I always like the look of these trucks. Um, this one has a bunch of little stuff done to it. I'll start, we'll start with the factory options and kind of break down. Obviously it sits bagged and, and sits on the ground. So factory is a 2.5 liter fuel injected four speed, uh, four cylinder, five speed manual transmission, um, roll up window, manual window, manual lock truck. It is red, black interior. We'll give the interior in a second, a bunch of little cool stuff down there. Um, exterior paint wise, it's some original paint and some respray over the years, um, 131,000 mile truck. So it's all still enamel paint, we polish it out. Don't get me wrong, this is not a show truck. I try to take pictures, so look through all our pictures and everything of the little flaws, but it's got dings, chips, uh, paint flaws. The roof's got some little dings in it from over the years, but it has a good shine to it. It's really neat looking, and that's kind of why we bought this truck. It's got this really cool graphic from the 90s on the side of the almost the heartbeat of America Chevrolet thing. So really cool little side graphic. Still got the factory bumper in the front, the S10 badges, the side trim. Um, really neat looking little truck. So suspension wise, obviously it's airbagged. It's got modified front control arms and bags up front. It kept the sway bar up front, which really helps when we'll go drive this thing in a minute, but it still drives uh, really well. Rear is a triangulated trailer arm, trailer setup. arm setup. And you can look through the pictures of all that, how it's broken down with bags in the rear. Um, the bed floor is raised, as you can kind of see, did a really good job on that. The fuel tank filler is moved right here. You can look through the early in the video in the pictures, but the bed floor is raised, it's been bed lined and then all your bag stuff is underneath there. So it's got the compressor, the um, tanks, the battery, it, everything's moved back here as well as a fuel cell. So it allows this truck to get really low. Um, no front fender tubs when you open up the underhood and look through those pictures and part of the video, but the truck does sit, the frame will touch the ground. So it's aired all the way down right now and it just has a really cool little look. So fun to drive truck. It has a bunch of maintenance stuff. Go to our website, txstreetcars.com and you can see all the breakdowns. It's got a new cylinder head, a uh, uh, chip on it, um, a new exhaust manifold, a bunch of stuff done to it. New style AC compressor you can see under there. The AC does work, it blows cold. It just doesn't, these S10s don't really blow very hard. So it blows cold, but it doesn't blow super hard out of the vents. But uh, interior, open this up, is one of my favorite parts of this little truck. It's got the key dinger working. Um, it's got, I think it's blue key. Um, redone interior, it's all black, black door panels, suede style headliner, uh, little wood aftermarket steering wheel. It has a Bluetooth stereo in it with a sub behind the seat. I'll fold this up so you can see it. Nice little sub box down there with the same fabric. All this fabric is actually from the Volkswagen GTIs. So good quality fabric. The seat's redone nice, red stitching. Um, I really like the interior of this truck. It looks cool, especially with the little wood wheel. Basically, it's a 90s little mini truck with all the 90s stuff, right? It's airbagged. Um, yeah, I think 195. Let me get the wheels and tires. 15 inch steel wheels with factory style caps and beauty rings. And tires are in good shape, which allows it to get so low with those little tires. So I, like, I really like it. Brand new windshield, bunch of other little stuff I'm sure I'm gonna miss. So check the uh, website for all the breakdown of it. But fun to drive little truck. You think sometimes you get these bag trucks, they don't drive really well. This one's set up pretty decent. It, it rides down the highway nice. We've gone 70, 75 in it. We've cruised it to a few little cruise ends. So really neat truck, gets a lot of looks, and we will go take it for a spin. drive the little S10 around. Uh, like we were talking about inside all the suspension stuff was uh, custom built there. It's, you know, don't get me wrong, this isn't a show truck or like that, but it is very fun and has an awesome, cool little look when you let all the air out. And you would think 
being not the most overcomplicated airbag system that it would drive terrible. This little truck actually drives pretty good. It's still got the sway bar on the front, so you know it still kind of handles okay and doesn't have a bunch of roll. I guess I should shift, huh? Yeah. Five speed, two. This little four cylinder in this truck is not terrible. Uh, it's got you know, a little torque in there. It would get up to 70 miles an hour. Um, gauges are working. Like we talked about, the AC is like the newer style compressor. It blows cold, but it doesn't blow hard like a lot of these S10s do. Um, interior wise, you can see in the video out here now, we're in the light. Really clean little interior suede headliner or fake suede headliner. And then the plaid inserts is actually the Volkswagen material like we talked about. So just really cool little touch on this truck. The stereo sounds good. Uh, even has a phone holder for your, uh, I mean a holder for your phone. driving little truck that gets a ton of looks. So we'll put here in the gas station. Everybody want to see us tear it down, huh? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A uh, really cool little truck. It's fun, gets attention. It's not going to break the bank. It's something you can kind of take to little shows. And we went to Lone Star Throwdown last year, right, Jason? Yep. That this little year. Chevy Love that looked almost just like this. Steel wheels, red. This truck reminded us a lot of that. So if you have any questions, 254-383-3517 will get a hold of us. You can check our website, txstreetcars.com. The link will be in the description here. It'll have all the pictures and all the information on there, uh, as well as financing options. So if you have any questions, please give us a call. We're running this four-cylinder out. That's up to what, 120, 130? Yeah. <laughs> That's up to 50, 50 miles an hour. So, but it drives good. You, know, you think bag trucks that's going to ride terrible and be all sloppy, but this one's not bad. Um, so, like I said, check out the website. Give us a call if you have any questions. And thank you guys for watching.